Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. This is the English summary of the Majlis of Hazrat Mawlana Qamaru Zama Sahib Dhamad Barakatuhum which took place on Tuesday the 27th of Rajab 1443 corresponding with the English date the 1st of March 2022. This Majlis took place after the Isha Salat at Ma'hadul Ali Al-Islami in Hyderabad, India uh, on the occasion of the last dars of Sahih Al-Bukhari. Hazrat Wala starts off by quoting the last surah of the Quran Qul a'udhu bi rabbin nas, malikin nas, ilahin nas, min sharril waswasil khannas, alladhi waswisu fi sudurin nas, min al jinnati wal nas. So as you have heard that Allah Ta'ala has given us a'mal to do as well but like how Allah Ta'ala has spoken about a'mal and deeds Allah Ta'ala has also spoken about the jaza the rewards of those deeds Sheikh Abdul Haq Muhaddith Delvi when he came to India and at that time Sheikh Farid was in charge or rather ruling over the whole of the Indo-Pak subcontinent. He gives him advice in the following manner that adopt ikhlas in your a'mal. Number one. Number two, make sure that your zahir and your batin, there is tawafuq and it is together, it is the same. It can't be we portraying something else outside and the inside is very, very far from that. There must be tawafuq Tawazun, the same, Zahir and Batin, the external and the internal. And the third one, always keep in mind the rewards of deeds. The Quran is filled with different, different types of A'mal and its rewards. The hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam teaches us that Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said to the Sahaba, no person can enter into Jannah by means of his own deeds. Nabi the Sahaba said to Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that not even you, O Rasul of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Yes, not even me, except that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala engulfs and enshrouds me with His uh, mercy. Now that's what Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying on one hand. On the other hand, wherever you open up in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the reward of the a'mal is Jannah. Now what can we say? Outwardly, it seems to be some type of tadad and contradiction. However, there's no contradiction whatsoever. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is speaking from the station of rububiyyat that the smallest, minutest thing that the banda carries out, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala appreciates it because he understands how tired, how weak insan is. And the servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, his taqaza, his demand should be this, that no matter how much of a'mal he carries out, even though that it may be as much as a mountain, then too he should understand it to be weak in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, Jannah and Jahannam are already created. Al Jannatu wa Nar Makhluqatan. That's our Aqidah, the Aqidah of Ahlu Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us to make dua for this. Allahumma inna nas'aluka al Jannah wa ma qarraba ilayha min qawlin aw amal wa na'udhu bika min al Nar wa ma qarraba ilayha min qawlin aw amal. Oh Allah, I ask you for Jannah and every such amal that will take me closer to Jannah whether it may be verbal or physical. Oh Allah, I seek refuge in you against the fire of Jahannam and all those deeds that will take me closer to Jahannam whether they may be verbal or physical. So this is from Imaniyat. We have to believe in Jannah. We have to believe in Jahannam. So the taqaza and the demand of the servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is such that he does whatever he has to do. Then too he bows down in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he asks that, Oh Allah, you grant me Jannah. There is nothing greater than that 
particular posture where a person humbles himself so much where he takes Abdalu Shay, which is his face and his forehead, and he places, places it on Ardalu Shay, the most uh, mean of things, meaning right onto the sand, onto the ground. You know, a person reads, he says, the Sayyidul Istighfar, Allahumma anta Rabbi, oh Allah, you are my Rabb, la ilaha illa ant, there is none worthy of worship but you. How much of happiness it brings to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when a person says, Allah, just one time it is better than this dunya and whatever it contains. So we have waqt, we have time in front of us. So we should do something with that time. Imam Bukhari rahimahullah ends the Sahih al-Bukhari in this manner that he brings the last hadith impressing on our minds and our hearts that if you cannot do anything at least say Subhanallah wa bihamdi Subhanallah al-Azim even for this hadith like how he done for every other hadith Imam Bukhari rahimahullah carried out ghusl he took a bath Thereafter, he would read two rakats of Salat and then he would note that particular hadith in his Jami' al-Sahih al-Bukhari. Hazrat Wala goes on to say that I said this in front of a huge group of muhaddithin and traditionists. Mawlana Taqiyuddin was also there and I said to them that ghusl first, that was for taharat e zahiri for external purification and the Salat was for taharat e batini So Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's every word was so pure and every sentence and hadith of his was so great. So Imam Bukhari carried out ghusl for Zahiri taharat and Salat for batini taharat. On one occasion a person passed by Imam Malik rahimahullah and he asked him chalte chalate just walking like that he asks him that Hazrat says say one hadith to me or he asked him about some hadith. Hazrat Imam Malik rahimahullah looked at his attendants and those around him and he said take the whoop and whoop this chap. Whoop him. So meaning that how do you just do that? A hadith is something so great, so honorable. Uh, is, is that uh, how you treat the hadith? You attach no importance to it. Nevertheless, this person also had such an ajeeb type of talab, desire, quest in his heart that he said, Hazrat, give me more also, beat me up also, but say the hadith to me. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam came and he completed the deen, the example that is given in the hadith that of that structure that one one brick was put into its place, the entire structure was completed with the exception of one brick. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam came and placed that brick into the structure making it complete and total. So the asal, the original and the essence is and should be that a'mal must be done only and solely for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then after that, what can we say? If a person does it for the jaza, for jannah, for his reward, yes, that is also great and something, but it is not the ultimate and the highest. So a person will get jannah, but jannah is so amazing, not like here where we would have maybe a beautiful people. There in Jannah, you would have the bazaar and the marketplace of beauty itself. When I went to France, I was right in front of the tower there and people came and I had a majlis there and I started telling them that you achieve this, that and the other. But have you achieved this? Do you have a bazaar where beauty itself, beauty itself could be purchased? where a person can say, I wish I have this beauty and he would get it. And a person, look at this, he would wish for this beauty, that beauty and the other. And he will be blessed with all of them at one given point in time without any type of ugliness and deficiency coming on him. Another example Hazrat Wala gives that a person would be there. He would notice and he would wish for that fruit which is hanging on the branch of a tree in Jannah. He would be granted that fruit, meaning he would be eating it. It would be in his mouth and that very same fruit itself would be hanging on the branch of that tree. And if not, that would be against the grain of the eternity of Jannah. La maktu'ati wa la mamnu'a. So we should become seekers of Jannah. 
and we should carry out our uh, a'mal this deen is complete this deen is so beautiful how much of this deen we have received and we are practicing on we should make shukr to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so molana spoke about a'mal and i am speaking about your jaza so Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us Allahumma inna nas'aluka al-jannah wa ma qarraba ilayha min qawlin aw amal wa na'udhu bika min al-nar wa ma qarraba ilayha min qawlin aw amal Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with us and Allah ta'ala grant us jannah Now let us make dua Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Mawlana Muhammad adada ma fi ilmillah salatan daimatan bidawami mulkillah Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al-akhirati hasana wa kina adab al-nar Rabbana la tuzih qulubana ba'da idh hadaytana wa hab lana min ladunka rahma innaka anta al-wahab Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al-akhirati hasana wa kina adab al-nar ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسرا كما حملته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا طاقة لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا وارحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين ربنا لا تجعلنا فتنة للذين كفروا واغفر لنا ربنا إنك أنت العزيز الحكيم ربنا لا تجعلنا فتنة للذين كفروا واغفر لنا ربنا إنك أنت العزيز الحكيم ربنا لا تجعلنا فتنة للذين كفروا واغفر لنا ربنا إنك أنت العزيز الحكيم ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب اللهم ألف بين قلوبنا وأصلح ذات بيننا واهدنا سبل السلام ونجنا من الظلمات إلى النور وجنبنا الفواحش ما ظهر منها وما بطن وبارك لنا في أسماعنا وأبصارنا وقلوبنا وأزواجنا واجنا وذرياتنا وتب علينا انك انت التواب الرحيم Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept these du'as of ours. Allah bless us with every type of afiat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all complete and total uh, uh, hifazat and protection. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us complete protection and salvation from all types of difficulty, musibat and calamity. Allah ta'ala grant us all, all those who are sick as well, shifa e kamila from all external sickness and internal sickness. Those who are in debts, Allah ta'ala fulfill their debts. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be uh, pleased with us allah ta'ala grant us ittiba'i sunnat allah ta'ala rectify our akhlaq and allah ta'ala rectify us grant us islah rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta as-sami'ul alim wa tub alayna innaka anta at-tawwabur rahim bi hurmati sayyidin nabiyyil karim sallallahu alayhi wa sallam